All right, guys, she weighs 33 pounds. You see where the black needle is pointing? All right, that's in pounds. The bottom scale, 30, one, two, 33 pounds. This is a 12S X-Max with a 400 amp flyer, AKA Snake, R Snake ESC with a double 6S, 6,000 milliamp HRB lipos. This is my overview video of my completed 12S powered TP5850 1000 KV X Max. Here we go. guys welcome back to a new video japan rc adventures coming back with my completed 12s powered x max 400 amp r snake aka flyer e s c guys the wiring is 8 awg it's super thick guys it was a pain in the ass to solder these wires together i had to use 8.5 millimeter bullet connectors here because the power cables and the negatives you got to solder them together and they're already super thick as it is on their own so the only connector where you can join them and then solder it on is an 8.5 millimeter connector so i made a custom harness and right now i am using xt90s but i'm gonna upgrade to the bigger connectors that are anti-spark so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I had, man, I had a, a, a heck of a time uh, hooking it up. And if it wasn't because I had 10 days off during the holidays, guys, I would not have been done. I'm um, just trying to figure out how to make everything fit. So this goes this way. And then I made the serial uh, adapter to run the lipos. These are 6,000 milliamp HRV lipos. I mean, then they just barely I mean barely fit but they make it guys which is another concern that I had um, the stock antenna it still sits in there and it's uh, I don't know if you can see it from here but um, she does sit in there you cannot see it um, the way she comes from the factory maybe you can take a peek there it is yep and um, I just had to cut the straw a little bit but she sits perfect guys which is really nice I do like the way that antenna sits there stock. Um, other than that, guys, um, this thing is done. So at this point, um, I need to take her out for a test run, see what happens. I did program the ESE with the software for Windows. That is another pain in the neck to get that software, to download and install. It's designed for XP and um, I'm running Windows 10. So that's an, I should do a video for you guys that are thinking about, you know, setting up this 400 amp ESC on your X Max or whatever rig, because it is a pain in the neck to get that going. So I may do a video on that. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm really happy with the way this thing turned out. The biggest problem was really soldering. Um, 
those cables from the ESC and then you know getting them uh, connected really good and um, just finding a connector again that'll work um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys again the TP is a 5850 size 1000 kb 12 s rated motor I braided the um, ESC motor connectors because I wanted it to look nice and also it, it provides insulation which is nice always a good thing cable management is very important uh, this is the external UBEC and I like it I, I, I didn't think I was a fan of external UBECs but I really do like it and it's real easy to um, to get it to work you just pretty much solder you know the the red which is power to um, to power and then negative to negative and that's about it guys so um, real easy there this thing has an anti-spark cable I didn't want to use it because I'm gonna use anti-spark connectors and you got to split this into two and I didn't want to mess with it um, so I just put some heat sink on it and some um, zip ties and it's just sitting there nice and pretty um, and then this is what connects to the um, USB cable that plugs into your laptop or your computer so you can program it with the software or you can utilize the programming box which I did get but I haven't used yet um, so that is it regarding the alien aka art excuse me the flyer uh, aka our snake ESC um, everything fits nice I as I was able to use the stock um, receiver box uh, so I didn't have to do any modification to that luckily this is high enough so that I didn't have to mess with anything down there so I'm pretty surprised that even though this thing is just huge everything still fits you know pretty nice um, and that's the way that I decided to set up my wiring so again it came out pretty good in the future I'm gonna be changing out these connectors but for now I want to see how that does um, I'll be doing a run soon don't know when hopefully next weekend we'll stretch out these legs and see what she can do this is a used drivetrain guys the diffs they're used and they're they're worn, they're a little bit worn out so uh, I'm gonna be really shocked if these things hold up now as you can see on the clip in the beginning of the video this thing is weighing in at over 30 pounds with lipos you know fully loaded so I'm looking forward to seeing how it holds up. Um, so the jury is out on that. But guys, that's all I've got. I just wanted to share with you my completed 12S X-Max build. I appreciate you all for watching. Hit me up with any questions or comments. And as always, thank you for the new subscribers. Over 1,800 followers on Instagram to everyone that follows me there and is watching this video. I much appreciate you. Hope you had a great holiday and a happy new year. I'm looking forward to... You know, hopefully get some good runs with my 8S, 12S, and 8S Talion. And then the 8S X-Max. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.